when the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see oh i won't be afraid no i won't be afraid just as long as as you stand stand by me oh darling darling stand by me oh i stand by me Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out Stand By Me by the great Ben E. King. It's only got four chords. This one you can maybe, there's an optional fifth chord in there. The really cool thing about it is adding a little percussive hit on two and four there. So I'm going to show you all the chords first of all, and then we'll have a little look at the strumming hand and figure out how to do that too. Uh, let's get to a close-up. So the chords for this song are really, really super easy. We need a C chord, which just needs third finger, third fret string one. A minor, which is second finger, second fret string four. And that's it. F, so we leave second finger down, put first finger down in the first fret of string two. So second fret open, first fret open. That'll be F. G chord, which for guitar players will look like a D chord. Open, second, third, second. Okay, you want to use first finger there, third finger, and then second finger. And then back to C. So it's this chord sequence all the way through. So it's C, another bar of C, then A minor, and another bar of A minor, then one bar of F, one bar of G, and back to C for two bars. And again, so C, two, three, four, another bar of C, then to A minor for two bars. Then to F, G, C, for two whole bars. Little things that you might like to experiment with, I just gave you a little taste of there with the A minor, if you're strumming. Sounds really nice just to take off your second finger. All of the strings open together gives you an A minor seven. Might like to experiment with that. F, lift off second finger. You get a really nice chord in F add 9. For the G. Okay, you can lift off second finger. Get a G sus 2. Back to regular G. Add a little finger down, third fret, thin, uh, top string, first string. You get a G sus 4. You can experiment with those just as ornaments. Just, you know, have a little bit of an experiment as you like. Sometimes in the very last bar of the sequence. So we've got two bars of C at the end. Sometimes there's a little build. I use a little G7. Open, second, first, second. Okay, that's a G7. And I use that as a little build going into the chorus, say. So, as long as you stand, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand. Now, it's not on the record, okay? The original Benny King version doesn't have that in, but if you want to put it that very last bar of the eight bar chord sequence, sometimes, like at the end of the verse, at the end of the chorus, you could change that for a G7 if you wanted to, but definitely don't feel like you have to. Okay, so there's the rhythm pattern that you might like to try out for the verses. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a down strum on beat one, just using a C chord here, but you could use whatever chord you like. Down strum on beat one, and then the and after one, I'm using my palm to mute the strings. So one and two, I'm doing a little hit, and I'm just hitting my, with my first finger onto the wood part of the uke there, just to get a nice little percussive hit, okay? You can experiment with how you do that. You could use a, more of your fingertip if you want, but really I think you get a nice kind of woody sound if you experiment a bit with where you hit it too, because it does sound a little different depending on uh, where you hit it on the body of the guitar. So we have one and two, and then we've got an upstroke on the and. So one and 
two, and. Okay, then mute on three, tap on four. One, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. Down, mute, tap, up, mute, tap. Down, mute, tap, up, mute, tap. That's how you want to practice it. Remember, it's one, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. For the chorus of this song, there are many different patterns that would work. Probably Old Faithful is the best one, just doing down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. I think that pattern works really nice. But you could do anything really on that sort of thing. You could you could keep going with the, the verse sequence if you've got practicing up that little hit or whatever, it'll sound cool to continue using the same pattern there. But normally I try and make the verses and the choruses a little bit different. It just kind of adds a bit of weight to the chorus, especially if you're playing a Barbie and you expect people to sing along or whatever, then it's nice to have that little build where you start strumming a bit more into the chorus. So uh, have a lot of fun playing this tune and I'll see you for plenty more guitar and ukulele lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.